This video contains content that may not be suitable for all viewers. This video contains images of animals being harvested and processed in the wild. Your discretion is advised. So today I'm out setting up traps. I see a lot of deer. Um, one reason I chose to do this challenge now is our deer season is out. So by law, I cannot take a deer. So it's all small game for me. I'm pretty good at that little run right here. And it's coming out of the cedar tree. Damn, um, it's all tore up. He's been coming in and out of here. It's a squirrel for two. Walnut so holes. Like so I know he's going under here. And then he's coming up on that. So uh, he's coming down out of the tree. He's going under here. So I'm going to set a snare up on this. Cedar bark cordage that I made right here. There's a lot of sign right here. So, okay. A lot of squirrel tracks coming in and out of here. Okay, so our next trap, we're going to use what they call this is a Kalionka side to bury deadfall. I'm just going to take two logs and fit together just like so. Uh, we're gonna get this trap started right here. I can see where a squirrel's been running up and down this log. And uh, so we're gonna get started with this. Trapping is one thing that our ancestors definitely would have done. They understood you can't be in every place every second of the day. You have other duties you need to fulfill. Wise man. Let your traps do your hunting for you. You do your hunting when you're on your way to check your traps. Work this stuff to your advantage. That's what our ancestors would have done. They would have hunted on the way to check their traps that's been hunting all day and all night just for them. To increase your odds, the more traps you have in the more places that you're not, hey, success. That's what it's all about, success. We don't just want to survive, we want to thrive. my walnut hole um, got a pretty good day today got a little moss um, set a few traps um, a few snares but uh mainly day five this is um this is uh laundry day hygiene day stay tuned yep that snare worked another gray squirrel using that log right there that sapling it's been bent over running up and down that tree siberian deadfall at its finest a gray squirrel in there so we've got a couple squirrels today i'm gonna to try to balance out my diet here do a little foraging i got some places where the snow's melting off so uh come across some clover and if you look down here Bunch of juniper berries, make a nice tea, and right up. Oh, that squirrel just took off right there. Right up there, we got a little reindeer moss. So we're in business. We like Thanksgiving dinner at the camp tonight. I got about 10 pounds of walnuts left up there. Right now, I call this a thrive moment. A little area here. Um, found some acorns. These are still good. They're still good and hard. Um, red oaks, so I'll have to leach them. But hey, food in the tummy. I'm gonna 
I'll take advantage of all this foraging that I can do on my way back to camp. And if there's still not snow, if it don't get snow no more, I'll be in good shape. But if it snows more, I want to have a stockpile waiting on me. Stay tuned. Okay, so we got a couple squirrels today. Heading back for camp now. Um, got, I got kept the heads. I keep the, the hearts, the livers, the testicles, and the brains. When you're trying to balance a diet and you're ha just having protein only, brains can be a good balance to that. Um, and it's got a good, you know, high caloric output as well. And um, yeah, you can tell which one of these got hit with a Siberian deadfall. But anyway. Hey, I figured I was going to make me a net for my walnuts. As I'm drying them out, I got to have somewhere to go with those. But what I've done is just made a hoop. I've took some of my cordage that I've made. I just split the difference on that cordage. Just, what I, did is I just tie it, tie it on like that. Tie it on. What I do is I just take, all I did is tie them in sections like that. I'll just take one from each section to the closest side, just, just like this right here, and I'll just tie that off right there. As I'm drying my walnuts, I have no place to put them other than a big pile, and at 48 calories a, a walnut, those are a staple for me. So I'll go around and do this a few times, each one of these working in a circle. Wind sure is picking up. Okay, see, I just went around about equal distance, you know, same length there. I tied each one off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, go to the next one. I'm just going to come right down below it. I'm all tied like that. I'll just come around. I'll do the next same thing again, except I'm just dropping lower. About the same distance that I want. Just loop them around. Tie it off. We'll just continue and go all the way around like this again. See, we're starting to develop a basket. As of right now, I probably have uh, a good 10 pounds of dried walnuts still in the holes, though. I have three squirrels in the snow, probably five pounds of acorns. So these walnuts are a staple right now. So that's how we do it. Just keep so today, I'm just going to work on my net, finish my net up. Today is the first time ever that I've probably consumed um, my 2300 calorie a day diet. I've had um, two cups of walnuts, um, black walnuts, um, smashed up, approximately two cups. I've had um, a cup of acorns, um, leached, which I made into a gruel. I've had two entire squirrels and one bird. Um, I had a squirrel for breakfast and one for lunch. So I'm probably pushing my 2300 calories. Um, which I feel good. I feel good. It's a lot of food to eat. But uh, without these walnuts, that wouldn't have been possible. One, one smashed cup of walnuts has a calorie equivalent to two entire squirrels. Think about that. So that's why I'm making this basket. These walnuts are huge right now. They're huge for me. So uh, I need this basket. So as I dry them, I can just put them in here and uh, feast. Uh, I have a pretty good supply of them down there. I piled a bunch up, and then uh, now I just gotta have a way to handle them from there. Uh, well, that's it for tonight. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my net up today, and uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow.